morning. It's weigh-in day. My cherry tomato plant is uh, gone crazy. Put some um, Miracle Grow on it one time, and uh, yeah, it went crazy. I have a lot of cherry tomatoes on here. And I, oh, I guess we call these grape tomatoes, maybe. Next year, if I do a plant, I think I will put it in one of those cages because it's literally all over the place here. Let's see if you guys can see all the tomato plants underneath. Yeah, this tomato plant didn't really grow very many tomatoes. I think I've only gotten like three off it, but that looks pretty good. So we'll go ahead and pick that. And this plant, it just doesn't have hardly any flowering blossoms on it. Oh, there's another red one under there. I see it. Um, for you carnivores out there, I have noticed that no animals, <laughs> no animals eat these. So I find that quite fascinating, actually. I find that quite fascinating that um, I don't see like any of the animals that are around eating these tomatoes. Um, it says something to me, but I don't eat tomatoes. <laughs> Use a spoon when you're dropping your eggs in to avoid egg cracking like what you see here. So today I'm working from church and I am excited to be able to go out into the garden and see what's out there. <laughs> it looks like the weeds have nearly overtaken it, but I'm sure there's some zucchinis out there. So I'm gonna go out and pick some. Whoa. Look at this place, it's crazy. Oh, let's see if we can find anything in here. Oh man, I know there's gotta be zucchini out here. Got to be. 
so we'll get in here and find it. There's so few flowering, it's like amazing how much flowering we're getting. Oh, there's a one. That's a small one. Probably not ready to be picked. You can see that in there. Yes. Oh, there's a there's a big one. See, we got it's kind of crazy to come out here when it's this overgrown, but it's, I mean, the food's in the garden, it's got to be picked. I can't stand leaving it out here. I did thought I saw another one over there. That's the small one. There's another small baby one growing there. And uh, I thought I saw another one over here, but I'm not able to locate it. Okay. See what you got? Yeah, I got a couple little ones growing over here, but I don't know, by next week, I might not even be able to get back in. I'll make some zucchini bread. Oh, right. I mean, that's crazy. That is absolute insanity. They should never get this big because it's just way too much. Way too big. You have a single butter burger with cheese meal with fries. Kids meal with uh, butter burger with cheese and fries. I know. <laughs> I just want to order, how big are your hamburger patties? Do you know what size they are? I think they're eighth, like, eighth of a pound. Eighth of a pound, okay. So I will take four patties uh, with two slices of cheese in between. <laughs> and then um, just mayo and mustard. And then I'll take a soda as well, a small soda. Okay, no problem. So what have you been doing all summer? Nothing really. Just having a lot of fun. Having a lot of fun? Hanging out with your friends? Yes. Nice. Eating. What have you been doing all summer? Walking. Walking? Okay. Melody. Oh, what happened to your boot hand? I'm allergic to mosquitoes. Oh what have you been doing all summer? Really nothing. Nothing? You've been just hanging, out, to, hanging around at home? Just going to Ari and Diane's house. Can I hear you? Going to Ari and Diane's house, Cassie's house. Oh. And I want like to go there. Did, go to, did you go to T.D. Jolly's house? You didn't go to Diane's house. Riley. Huh? What you been doing all summer? Uh, I was down at the Michael Ball to uh, see the market and I don't know that anybody go there. Uh, did you have any fun? I, I was staying at home. You stayed home? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you like to stay home, huh? Yeah. Yes. The problem with always having a special order. This is 
quite a big burger, actually. Yes, yeah, done. <laughs> it's huge. Cheese. Four patties and two slices of cheese.